everybody, it's Cindy here from Hooked on Crafts. And today I thought I would drop in. It's been a while since we had a little show and tell or a crochet chit chat. And I thought I would stop in and show you all the things that I've been making. Um, we are in stay at home right now. Um, so I have been crafting up a storm. So I thought I would just get into it. Um, big news today though. Um, last time I told you that um, I really didn't know how to knit anything. So while we're all on lockdown, so to speak, um, I decided I would teach myself how to knit. And I am knitting away. And I'll show you some of those things here uh, and some of the things I'm working on. Um, I'm finding out though, my knitting is really loose. Um, things are kind of big um, when I'm making them. So you'll see as we go along and I'll show you a few things. Let's start with my hat here that I'm wearing today. This is, I told you also that I was going to try and use my yarn from my knit crate. So this is one of my yarns from my knit crate. Um, I don't remember the name of it, honestly. Um, I'll look it up though and leave it in the notes below. But um, so this is just the Ross hat. Um, you know, the guy that smells like yarn. Um, he's here on YouTube. Um, this is just his basic simple pattern. You can see mine is really slouchy um, His fits really tight and I don't know if it's because he's a guy and and I'm not and so my head is smaller than his I'm still trying to learn about all the different sizing and that kind of stuff. So um, Yeah, most of my things are turning out big so I'm learning that I'm gonna have to go down in needle size or the amount that I'm casting on or, or whatever so we're gonna start with that. This is the Ross hat. I I still love how it turns out. I think it's very cute. Um, it's just way slouchier than it is. Um, and decreasing and DPNs are not my friend. Um, so I'm I definitely love circular needles. I'm having my my most success and my most fun with those. So you'll see as we go along here. I've I'm always into hats and I knit a lot and I crochet a lot of hats because I just think they're fun, they're wearable, they're usable. I don't like to knit, uh, crochet or knit things that are just gonna sit around. Um, we talked a little bit last time about how I don't like to have a ton of yarn sitting around. It gives me anxiety. Well, with all this quarantine stuff, I'm now I'm having anxiety because I don't have enough yarn sitting around. So yeah, it's, it's been a little challenging. I've done the Joann's curbside pickup a couple times to get uh, some things that I need, and I'm just using what I have, honestly. I've also been to Michael's for curbside pickup, so you'll see I have a couple things in here that I wanna, I wanna show you guys. So I also talked a little bit about not having project bags. So I have decided to make myself some project bags, and I started with this one. This is called the Japanese Knot. It kind of, it, it goes like this. Oh, my needle's poking out of it. Um, probably you would have to line these. I didn't. Um, I crocheted it with a smaller size hook to make the, the holes not as big. But if you would have a crochet hook, this is my uh, knitting needle. So it's really attached in there. I'll show you what's in there a little bit later. But so this is the first thing. And I love this. This is made from the cotton... Um, I got from Michaels. Uh, it's their new one. Again, I'll leave that listed in the description below exactly what yarn I used. And then, um, so that was a Japanese knot bag. It is on Ravelry um, by M Mudragon, by Rick Mudragon, Ruck Mudragon. I'll leave it below. The next thing I want to show you though, and I just finished this one. This one is um, also crocheted. This is a little crocodile. I'm calling it my mermaid bag because I personally, it is a crocodile stitch, but I love it. It turned out so fun and festive and I think it's going to be big enough to hold like a hat project or socks or something small that I'm making that would be very portable to tote around with you. And this is the Crocodile Crochet Bag by the Knit Crow Addict here on YouTube. And I did modify it a little bit. Hers she made is a purse and it's much tinier. Um, I kind of doubled the size of the base of it because I knew I wanted mine as a project bag and not um, a, a bag that I carry around. And I made my handles short because... I don't like to have to fiddle with all that when I'm working on my stuff. I don't I don't like it in the way. So I love this. I probably will line this one 
because if I don't, it is uh, very holy right in here. So that is my mermaid bag. Okay, so sorry, we are in stay at home and I do have several people in the house with me, so I may get interrupted and I may have to stop and come back, but that's just how things are right now, so it is what it is. Okay, so on to my next hat. So off with this one. Onto my next one. Sorry, I'm gonna have hat hair because I just got out of the shower and I stuck my hat on. Okay, so this one is the Be Kind. I hope you can see it. It's the Be Kind Beanie by Andrea Shanti, I believe is her name. And I did the cow for this also, and I frogged it because it wasn't really, I don't know, I would have never worn it. So I hope you can see that. I think this one turned out really cute. This is for the Hat Not Hate um, campaign. I have a lot of Hat Not Hate uh, hats, so bear with me. I'll try to get through them very quickly. I've got my notes down here, so I, you'll see me kind of flipping through them. Again, crazy hair, don't care. Okay, so next I tried to do, this is again, me just practicing knitting. Um, at this point, I probably only knit maybe three other things. This is the CC Beanie. Up here, let me show it to you this way first. This is a CC Beanie. And I'm not very good at doing the top, so I've just been kind of getting them down as close as I can and then drawing them all in. But I think this one turns out really cute. This is a CC Beanie. I love how this one fits too. This one fits me really well. I made another one in a solid color and it does, it's way bigger. So I don't know if I used different size needles or what, what I did there. But again, I'm still learning all that. I'll get it. I'm just practicing. But I thought this was a perfect time to practice for hats because all these kids are going to be different sizes anyway. So they can just pick the one that fits them the best. So that's hat number two for Hat Not Hate, the CC Beanie. And then I went on to do this one. And again, it's the same pattern. I just did it in solid colors. I did these. This is all just yarn I've had in my stash. And unfortunately, yarns in my stash are probably yarns that I didn't want to work with or I bought and just used them a little bit. Um, this is Red Heart Super Saver. And I mean, I don't know. It, it's cute on for a slouchy hat. So, I think this is going to make a great hat not hate hat. So, that's the next CC beanie. Then I went on, and this is called the Sailor's Rib. And I just wanted to try some other stitches. Let me show you up close. You can kind of see the little detail work. And that's really good for me because I'm a beginner and purling and I, um, yeah, we're not the best of friends. But I'm getting it. And this is how this one fits. I think it looks super cute on i think it's going to be great for hat not hate again so that is number three for hat not hate then i moved on to the waffle beanie and this is by fiber spider here on youtube and of course i've made this one before i've showed you the one i made for my daughter this one isn't a navy this is that uh yarn that i found at target before the lockdown kind of happened um and it was on clearance for like a dollar 18 and it's really soft yarn i'm glad i bought it i have a few more of these i'm gonna use um for this i haven't got to them yet but this is the waffle beanie and then i went on this is just a front and back rib this is out of Pound of Love from Lion Brand. I love Lion Brand yarn. This was not something I had in my stash. I went out and bought this right before we went on lockdown because I knew I was going to make a ton of hat not hate hats. Okay, so this is hat number seven, I believe. And this is a hat that I've made for a while. I'll have to look the pattern up. Um, it's one that I like to buy to wear for myself because I just love the way it fits. It doesn't completely trash my hair when I wear it if I'm going to work or whatever but I just love how this one fits um, just a cute basic hat perfect for hat not hate and then of course I have several of the rib beanies now I have this on my YouTube channel if you want to know how to make this hat um, I will put the card up in the corner. So this is how these fit. These are super easy they go really fast this is Lion Brands Pound of Love um, pound of love yarn 
which I am enjoying. And I made several of these in different sizes. This one's kind of small for my head, but it'll be perfect for a younger child. Um, this is made with a different yarn. This is, I think, a Burnett yarn, honestly. I don't know. It's a little snug for me. Doesn't uh, fit that great for me, but it'll be perfect for a child. And then this one. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 hats for Hat Not Hate It so far. So I'm doing really well. Um, I kind of got bored and burnt out a little bit on doing them. So I moved on to a few other things, which you'll see here in a minute. Um, so knitting. This was one of my first hats that I did um, knitting. And this is, made, this is from a bulky yarn because everybody said, oh, start bulky, use a big needle, which I agree, but I don't usually work with bulky yarn that much, so it was a little challenging for me. It's, it's okay. With a gray pom-pom on the top, it would be cute for someone. It's okay. This is another one that I knit right off the bat, and this is I Love Yarn from Hobby Lobby. I want to say, I can't remember what the colorway was but and again this one is more of a slouchy kind of hat which I really like I like this one a lot um, it would go with almost any kind of you know coat or or jacket that you have um, again I would probably put a pom-pom on it I haven't put any pom-poms on because I'm running low on pom-poms and I haven't ordered a ton of stuff so so there's that so next for finished objects, I have this Jada in Stitches 12 Star Baby Blanket. This is also out of Red Heart Ombre in the purple color. And I I bought this yarn to do the, the Marley Bird crochet along when she was having it. And I failed at that <laughs> totally. It's not my thing. It was very stressful. I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't find any kind of, I don't, I don't know. I was not enjoying that at all. It's not my cup of tea. So I frogged it all out and I wanted to do something with the yarn and make it, make something out of it, right? Because I hate to see yarn go to waste. So, okay. So if you're going to knit, there are a couple things that I want to know how to knit. One would be hats because I love hats. One would be socks and one would be sweaters because I love all the knitted sweaters that people show. So first thing I did, and forgive my little makeshift sock blocker here, but I tried to knit socks and I think it turned out pretty decent, except for it is really big. My sock blocker is probably the right size, but this sock would fit my husband. And I did a 64 cast on, 64 stitch cast on, and size one needles. And this is just a Peyton's uh, Croy uh, sock yarn, which I found at Michael's on clearance for like $3.97. So that's why I bought it. And I'm like, I'm going to try it. So this was my first shot at socks. And of course, there's two because I knit them both at the same time on circular needles. Um, but on chow goo circular needles that were, let's see if I can find them in here. I knit them on nine inch circular needles like this. And these are teeny tiny. But I have to say I'm kind of already addicted to making socks. So hopefully I'll find the formula that I love. Um, because I did go ahead and start on a second pair. And let's see here. Let me get them out of here. I want to show you. And these are going to be shorty socks because it's summertime where I am. And I want to try shorties. So I'm making them out of this yarn. Okay. Again, this was something that was on clearance at uh, my Michaels. I wish I would have bought more colors. Um, I can't go in there and look right now. So this one I cast on 56 stitches. Now, I I kind of been stalking um, some of the Facebook groups. I joined uh, Just Knitting Socks uh, Facebook group so that I could maybe get some help. And I'm asking those ladies um, 
what do you think I need to do? I really didn't want to have to buy more needles because needles get kind of expensive and we'll talk about that a little bit later. I mean, these little guys were $11 each. So, and I bought two sets because I wanted to do them at the same time because a lot of people say that when they start making socks, they make one and then they never finish the other. And I didn't want that to be me. So I thought if I was doing those parts of them, like I was, I could do the cuff part and then I could do the leg part and then the heel and then the, the toe and all of that at the same time. But I'm trying something different this time. I'm going to try a different heel. I did buy the pattern for the Fish Lips Kiss heel, but I don't know if I'm going to do that one. I also found online um, a Sweet Tomato heel that looks pretty easy and I love the way it looks on the sock so I think that's what I'm going to try on this one this is probably as tall as this one's going to get and then I'm going to go into the heel and the foot part of it so hopefully I'll work on that some before the next time and again I bought enough to make two socks um, so with shorties I might be able to get two out of 150 gram ball I'm not sure I have two balls we'll see so as you can see my Japanese knot bag has become my sock bag which I'm loving it for that I think it's perfect I may make another one of these I might try to sew one of these because I just like the ease of carrying it around and getting into it and, and all of that so that is all of my finished objects and one whip okay so that's quite a bit right but it's it's been a while so oh the socks by the way I followed a tour a tutorial on YouTube by Simply and Stitches. I don't know if she uploads anymore because I haven't uh, seen really anything recent from her, but I love her. She is a perfect teacher. She goes slow. Um, sorry, I dropped my crochet needle. She goes slow and um, she's really easy to understand. And that's who I followed for the sock. And she uses the nine inch circulars, which I would much prefer rather than the DPN. Now, a lot of people use what's called a magic loop method. I I don't know, I don't understand it. Um, so I thought I would try with the circulars and as I get more experience, so to speak, um, with that, I will go maybe to the magic loop method. I, I, I don't know, I don't, I, I don't know the answer because I don't really, um, I don't do that enough, so. I, I don't know. We're going to have to just wait and see how that goes. Um, let's see here. Sorry, I'm flipping my notes over. So also, I joined a Facebook group. And this is, I like doing amigurumi. I know some people don't, but I enjoy it. And this uh, group is doing um, Melly Teddy Ragdoll, Shelly and Sandy um, Mermaid. Oh, I forgot to put who that was by. I will list that in the link below, but I've got her head done. I did have to order eyes because I didn't have any eyes that were big enough, but this is going to be her head. She's really cute when you get her done. I'm excited to see her. I Again, I haven't been shopping because you can't go in any of the stores, so I'm going to try to use for her uh, scales. Um, for her tail part, um, Lion Brands Landscape, I have a couple of those in my stash, and I thought they would make pretty, I mean, they're just using lots of different colors, but I don't really have a huge stash of yarn because I like to use my yarn, and I don't, I just don't have a ton of yarn laying around because we don't have room for it. So, but then I've got her arms done also. So part of, the, this is a crochet along, so they've given us instructions for the head, Sorry, I got a hair on that one. Anything from me comes with hair. It's just know it's in love, but I shed like crazy. So I have both of her little hands done and her arms and her head. And then also I have her body um, crocheted. So she's going to kind of be, you can kind of see her coming together, right? Um, this is going to be her little hands. And then hope, I think today they released the instructions for her tail which of course is the best part of her right because she's a mermaid so hopefully I will get some of that done and I may post that to Instagram um, with a hashtag on it if uh, 
don't know if I I like it. And see what you guys think. Check me out on Instagram. I am hooked on crafts, all one word on Instagram. Okay, so a sweater would be the next thing. Okay, so once I got going, I realized that look, I'm gonna kind of stop and do an acquisition um, here. But I broke down and bought the Knit Picks Knit Pro Zine. Um, and you can see I've already got one of them in use on my sweater here that I'm about to show you. So, but I really like these. I had to order additional cables um, from Amazon because it only came with two um, small yellow cables, which are great for hats. But I wanted to try other things. And so, yeah, so I bought those. And so I started knitting a flax sweater. It's by Tin Can Knits. Let's see if I can get show you without totally destroying everything. Um, I am knitting it, and I didn't want to spend a ton of money on yarn for this because, well, it's my first sweater, and I don't know if it's going to turn out, right? But this is what it's looking like. These are the sleeves where I'm doing the, the purling on the sleeves. Um, it is, I'm knitting this out of Lion Brand's Heartland yarn. Uh, the colorway is, let me look here. So this is my yarn that I'm using. Sorry, I'm using it. So, and the colorway is Hot Springs. I just love this purple color and this yarn is so soft. I did also buy, um, I did also buy some Pound of Love and I may try a different sweater with that one in like a deep, uh, burgundy color, but I think it's turning out good so far. I hope this doesn't like get so fuzzy and pilly that I don't like it, but I think it looks like it's going to fit pretty decent and I'm just, um, I'm loving how it's turning out. I think you guys can kind of see the stitch definition in there. So that, yeah, I'm loving the sweater. Loving the sweater. I will definitely be making more of those. So I did order, I told you I ordered extra cables. The cable I have on is a 60 inch one, um, but I'll show you a few of the other ones that I got. These are Knitter's Pride, sorry. These are Knitter's Pride Zings. And it comes with this one, which is the 32 inch. I got a value set. This is 24 inch. I think this may be the same as the one that came with the the needles this is a 20 inch oh definitely not here's the short one and this is a 16 inch which i think i'll be able to maybe use for my sleeves i don't know let me know if you're a knitter let me know if i'll be able to use the 16 inch i'm a pretty good size girl i'm i'm knitting the size extra large um in the flax because i think it's a unisex size but I just took a sweater out of my closet and I measured one that I feel, sorry for bending down guys, one that I feel fits me really nice that I like the way it fits and I kind of measured it to see what size I was going to need. So that is what I did for that. Um, I also have, hold on one second, a few more acquisitions. Oh, here they are. A few more acquisitions that I found. Now, some of you guys may not like this. Um, Okay, if you don't, that's fine. But I like to order stuff from AliExpress. And they had these sets of needles. And they come in 11. One comes in 11 sizes and one comes in 13 sizes. But I did knit one of the hats with these. And I thought it turned out really well. And I actually liked using it. The cable on them. Let me take one of them out here. The cable on them to me is almost better than the Knitter's Pride ones, honestly, because I like, it's more like the Chow Goo. <coughs> Excuse me. It's more like the Chow Goo um, needles that have the, I mean, there is some memory in there, but see, it's the wire like that. And they are bent a little on the end, which kind of makes it, I think that's very comfortable for me. They're not very pointy, but I'm okay with that too. Um, I tend to split my yarn, so maybe that will help. I mean, they're not the pointiest needles, but I paid like $4 for 11 
And they all come with a, a darning needle, which I'm always losing, so I need that. And so I want to put them back in here. I'm looking for a case to put all of these in. I have some more of these ordered. They're going to be, this is, um, this was the hat size. I think these are the 16 inch ones. And then I also ordered a set in this package. And this is the one I actually used. And I've already lost one of these. Now these, I will say, I'll find it. It's around here somewhere. These, I will say the point seems to be a little bit pointier, but it's got that same cable and it's got the same bent. And I really enjoyed, I enjoyed working with these. Um, I ordered the 40 inch length and I ordered the 60 inch length. Except for they don't call, they're all in centimeters when you order them. So I want to say it is, I, I ordered all sizes. So the next thing I want to do is find a case for all my circular needles. Because I already have, that one was a set of, that one was a set of like 13, 13 sizes. And they go to really skinny, which if I go to doing my socks, and I decide I need a smaller needle, I'm gonna have to try to use two cables or something and, and try it with these if going down a size in stitch count doesn't help. But I think, I, I'm enjoying these. I, I think they're well worth the money. I don't like to buy a ton of things from China, but if I can't find it here, and let's face it, I'm sorry guys, I shook you. I don't like buying a ton of things from China, but Sometimes I'm on a budget. I I don't have a ton of money. I didn't tell you guys this. Um, the company that I work for, they did some downsizing. I lost my job. They eliminated my position in the building that I was working in. So I've been trying to find a job um, during all this corona stuff. And I'm not having much luck, but thank goodness the government has given us a little extra money to survive on with unemployment. So I am... Uh, I'm doing fine. I'm okay. Um, but I would really like to get back to work and find a job. So there's that. So I don't have a ton of money. So I am going to order some things from China. I'm sorry. Um, if you don't understand that, then I guess you don't understand that. But I can't afford to buy all of the fancy yarns from the yarn stores. Um, I live in central Illinois and we don't, believe it or not, um, I mean, I'm right near Springfield, so which is our capital here in Illinois, and we don't have a local yarn store. Um, we used to. I know I've seen one before, but I had never went in it, and it's gone now. I guess she closed up shop, so... I do not have a local yarn store, so the fanciest yarns I get are the knit, uh, are from the the knit crate yarns, which I am I am loving those. I have a few of those to show you as acquisitions also. Um, but yeah, that's that's what's going on with me. Okay, as I was digging out um, some of my other yarn, my knit crate yarns that I got, I also ran across a couple more projects that, <laughs> that I had finished. Um, this is also a tutorial on my channel. This is the Spiked Granny. And I made a few dishcloths. I love having dishcloths around. Um, they're so, they're really useful. And then this one is also, it's made, this is a Hobby Lobby yarn, um, which I may have one of the, I, I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw these and these are made by Yarn Bee. It's a Sugar Will Cotton Mini Cutie Patootie. Oh, can you see it? There you go. And they're teeny tiny. And they're so cute. And they're very soft. So I bought a few of these. I made a dishcloth out of that one. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to make out of this one. I've got a couple of these uh, stuck around here. Uh, but yeah, I really like those. I thought they were fun. Okay, on to my knit crate. So, I have two knit crates that I've gotten since the last time I seen you. So, this was the first one. This was March's. And I believe I switched which one I wanted for March. This 
the little guy is what I got. It is beautiful. I think I got the Energize Me one. And the name of this yarn is La Barice by Knit Crate. It, the color I got is Dogwood Berry. It's beautiful. I don't know what I'm going to make out of it. It's Baby Alpaca Fingering Weight Yarn. Um, hand wash, lay fat to dry. I'm thinking I might try to do a shawl or something out of a couple of these. There's also a brown from this group that was really, really pretty. But yeah, I am loving the Knit Crate yarn. It gives me a chance to, um, to see all the different yarns that are out there. I'm not going to go through and show you exactly what was all in um, my Knit Crate for that month because it's kind of an old news by now. Um, lots of people have shown it. I will show you April's though because this one has just gotten here not too long ago. Came in a bag this, this month. Um, so I was kind of surprised, but it has to do, I think, with all the corona stuff going on and there's not a lot of them working and it's just too hard for them to get it all packaged and shipped out. And so I got the sparkly purple. Oh my gosh, I'm loving this shade of purple. And I know you guys can see all of those sparkles in there. So my colorway is Lapras. Uh, you are you yarn, sugared sport by Knit Crate. Um, it is a sport weight yarn, 300 yards, machine wash, gentle lay flat to dry. It's beautiful, right? Um, so it came with that. Um, it came with a card for the patterns this time. Um, again, I think that has to do with the coronavirus uh, stuff. And then it came with this soak. Oh, it's blowing it out. There you go. You can see it. It came with this soak. And mine is Pineapple Grove. I don't know if they all came with the same. I'm going to have to watch a few other videos to see if everybody got the Pineapple Grove or if some of them were different. I've never use anything like this so once I make something out of a nice wool yarn or or something I will definitely try that out because I'm very intrigued by, by that so that's quite a lot um, going on here so I hope you guys like this um, I had a ton of things to show you I know I went through them really quick but it was a lot of stuff and I don't want this video to be too long so I hope you enjoyed it um, subscribe to my channel like it give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down I'm okay with that too um, so what are you guys learning while we're all on lockdown please leave me a comment below let me know if you like my project let me know if you have another hat pattern for hat not hate um, I've almost reached 5,000 subscribers and I think I'm gonna do a giveaway once that happens I haven't decided what my giveaway is gonna be yet but something, I'm gonna give you guys something um, for sticking with me and listen to me babble and showing all my projects. I'm glad I have you here because I don't really have a lot of uh, friends or family that like to crochet or knit. Um, so you're, one thing about me is if I get bored, I like to learn new things. So the knitting is gonna be fun for me. You're gonna see more of it because I'm kind of addicted already. I'm still gonna crochet because I love crocheting, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great day. Bye.